Thank you very much. I'm doing the snaps. As soon as it's all done, I'm using the microphone. How are you feeling after that um, game? Um, obviously, happy for Liverpool. Uh, you know, we knew it was going to be tough. Um, obviously, the international was going away and some youngsters coming through by four. You know, disappointed with the result, but proud of how we played and fronted up against them. Because, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Well, at the end of the day, there's a drop goal in it. So, you know, at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Small margins. So, Mr. Max Nagy started his rugby career with Buckingham Rugby Club. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Progressed from there to uh, Northampton Academy. So, would you like to outline us, outline for us now, what brought you to the Ospreys via uh, Northampton? Yeah, okay, so uh, obviously playing rugby back in England uh, for my local club, uh, went over to Northampton with the under-16s programme there, um, sort of got released quite early in that programme, they didn't really sort of give me a very, like a looking at all, to be honest, they said I was too small, I wasn't, I wasn't this tall back then. Um, so I got released, uh, went away, just kept enjoying my rugby playing for the club. Yeah. Ended up going to Swansea Uni for my uh, studies and then sort of kicked on from there really. Well you studied physical? Sports and exercise science, yeah, yeah. the standard, the standard <laughs> one. Yeah. I was interested to hear about your size, you know, because when I had a look today to find out what I could about you, according to Wikipedia, you're six foot four. Then yeah. I look somewhere else and you're six foot. So I'm guessing it, it's somewhere between the two, six foot two? Six three and a half, I'd say. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so say there we are then. Which half though? Right. <laughs> so tell me if you were a Northampton boy growing up and going to see, to see Northampton, see the Saints play, how was it feel now to um, be playing alongside somebody who must have been one of your uh, boyhood heroes? Yeah, obviously, um, me and Stephen Martin are going on like house on fire. Um, so yeah, it's obviously a privilege to play with him, and um, I just take any little bit of advice from him I can, really, and you know, yeah. enjoy playing with him. It is strange, obviously, when I used to watch him as a kid. So, yeah. you know, it's just... I, I did, I did read as well that Dan Evans has given you a lot of tips and what are you? Yeah, even though Dan's injured this year, it was obviously you know, frustrating for him because we had a good little battle going on last year in training. Um, but he's still giving me loads of tips, like even just before the game I had a chat with him. And, you know, he just gave me little pointers which I can look for in the backfield and, you know, I'm always trying to improve sort of things. Lots of things. a lot of time. He's been, I think everybody would agree with me when they say he's been a wonderful servant to the Ospreys. So, yeah, uh, yeah. A great club man. Yeah, yeah. No, I'd agree. Since he joined us from the Dragons. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right, okay. Uh, you think I'm mostly at full back or wing. Do you have a preferred position? Oh, yeah, no, absolutely playing at full back. I'm most comfortable there. Um, I'd only play on the wing if you know, I have to fill in, sort of thing. If they're short, like. Yeah, I haven't got the pace of uh, Keelan or Moggsy on the wing, so I'll stay at full back. Or Reese Henry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably He's pretty, pretty yeah. nifty today, isn't he? <laughs> right, I'm not going to bother reading this question. I'm going to give you a piece of paper to read. Don't, don't. Just read it. <laughs> yes or no? No. Oh, no. I'll tell you what's on the piece of paper now, right? <laughs> it said, is Nicky Smith the worst, <laughs> the worst roommate to have? If he'd said yes, I wasn't going to bore you with the... Uh... Everybody has come over here and said the worst roommate to have is Nicky Smith. I can't wait to get oh, you. Wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> So who's the worst roommate then? I actually roomed with uh, Ethan Phillips last year and he was awful. You know. <laughs> Why? Me and him were fighting over the towels. He was using two to get dry and I was using two to get dry and, that, and he just ended up blaming me and, you know, dogging on me to the boys. Just me, I mean, let me, we weren't having a fight in the shower. It's just... <laughs> what do you do, Sam, behind closed doors in your own? But let me tell you something. You probably won't understand this, but... Ivan Phillips is a Cardiff. No clue, mate. Well, from Cardiganshire, <laughs> right? They have a reputation for being tight. So it's a wonder he didn't charge you for use of the towel. Then. They say to get a to get a pound out of a cardigan man's hand, you've got to have a spanner. So they say. So there we are. 
Okay, let's thank you very much for coming over. We're delighted to welcome you. This is your second visit. With you. So, thank you very much. And well done tonight. That was great. Hello, Chris. Yeah, not too bad. Well, I always get the tall ones, don't I? Yeah. So, a bit of a difficult game. Yeah. Against some tough opponents who really put Scarlet to the sword the other week. Um, what could have been again? What could have been if they didn't have forward passes between their tries? So, for today's game, you played quite well. Yeah, right. You did alright, didn't you? Yeah, I know, because I mean, is your first start this season? I'll stay away. I'll stay away. I try to ignore one word. I'll stay away. We'll forget about that one. So it's not going to get any easier. No, South Africa next. Tour, a couple of games over there. Yeah. Take them. Yeah. So you come back to us. You were played, uh, you went up to Somerset Academy, is that right? Yeah, so we went there, I don't know if it was so, but it's got a shot there. So, uh, basically my mum decided to put me on. Yeah. Uh, Google was too much, so she got me away. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I had to show Yeah, and you had a, a few games so far? Yeah, a few so far. Yeah. Yeah, three years there, and then uh, tried to come back. <laughs> so how do the two weeks compare to your, your view? It's a tough one, there's a lot more travelling this week. Like, uh, it's, it's, it's a tough one really, yeah. the refs are the best in this league. <laughs> 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 well, that's that's statement. Statement. <laughs> so, from your point of view, obviously I know you're playing this league now, but if you had a choice, which are the better? Of course, of course. So, um, I did say this to Tips the other day. Sorry, just one second. Sorry, can, can we just keep the noise down just a little bit because it is difficult to hear for everybody with this noise. And the boys are only over here for a few minutes. Thanks guys. So, as I said to Tip the other week, um, we get compared to a three pin plug in Europe, both use and us. Um, how do you think it's going to go for us being going to meet Montpellier again uh, and uh, Leicester, we're both reigning champions. How do you think it's going to be? Uh, why not? Why can't we be done? Hey. Yeah. 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 Well, we did tonight without our 14 internationals. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Exactly. Doesn't so matter. it was a really good game. So um, what's been your highlight of your Osprey's career to date? It's uh, Leinster away in my first year. The last game of the season. Yeah. Woo! Against yards. A bit like tonight. Mm -hmm. when we all just showed up and beat Leinster away. That was a nice one, wasn't it? Yeah, that was during yeah. lockdown? Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was a shame. Yeah, good work then, after. I know. You should, you, should have, you should have seen the Zoom call. Tuesday, <laughs> we'll celebrate now. <laughs> so, best goal kicking front rower in the squad. Three centimeters. No doubt. Three centimeters. Every training session. Every training session. Every training session. He practices. He wants to be. Yeah, he does want to be a back, doesn't he? Yeah. He's there running around. I know. Can you? So, which member of the teams should not be allowed to drive the team coach? Probably me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not a good driver? No, terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. And if you had to pick a Haribo packet, which one would it be after the Haribos? Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Just ask him. It's just stupid question moment times. So, just want to wish you all the best out in Santa Rica. I think you're going to do it. Play like you did tonight, boys, because honestly, yeah. that start was amazing. Just one thing, tell him to stop kicking the bloody ball away. Otherwise, no. It'd be in the cricket. Put your hands together for Max and Reese. <laughs>